Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. Today is Tuesday, January 5th, and here are today's top stories from the world of gaming. First up today, let's talk about Nintendo, who has announced the acquisition of Next Level Games. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, it's probably because they were the studio behind Mario Strikers and Luigi's Mansion. PlayStation has announced that the PS5 will be launching in India on February 2nd of 2021. Speaking of the PlayStation, PlayStation 5, if you're still in the market trying to find a PlayStation 5, the Studio Super 5 will be selling a limited run of a retro PlayStation 2 themed PS5. Apex Legends Fight Night Collection event went live today and will last until January 19th. Following a dispute between the developer and publisher, the Sinking City has finally returned to Steam, Xbox, and the PlayStation Store. Venture Beat sat down with the developer of Digix Arcs, the studio behind Valiant Hearts and 1111 Memories Retold, and the developer revealed that their next game called Road 96 will be coming to PC and Google Stadia. Speaking of Google Stadia, Stadia Source recently discovered that Monster Energy Supercross and Phoenix Point have both been rated for Google Stadia. Developer Mediatonic is teasing a Fall Guys crossover with Doom. The Nintendo eShop may have have just leaked the DLC release dates for Immortals Phoenix Rising, with the eShop store listing a new god arriving on January 21st, the Lost Gods on February 25th, and Myths of the Eastern Realm on April 1st. Bluebird Team dropped a brand new 14-minute gameplay trailer for their upcoming horror game The Medium. During the trailer, the developers showed off the transition between the game's spirit world and the real world, which, after watching Watching this, I am so hyped to play this game. It looks awesome and so unique. Capcom has announced a Monster Hunter digital event, which will be taking place on January 7th. Ocean Heart will be released for PC on January 21st. The developer Bedtime Digital Games is teasing news about Figment 2 for this Thursday. Slay the Spire is getting a board game. PlayStation Now is adding three games to the service for the month of January, including the likes of Frostpunk, Surviving Mars, and The Crew 2. It was a big day for the developers behind Gods Will Fall, as they announced a new pre-order bonus for the game called The Hunter's Headgear, along with announcing the game's first DLC expansion called Dormant Gods. And finally for today, developer Mojang has announced that the AR mobile game Minecraft Earth will be shutting down in June. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.